so we're at our next stop on our trip today and we're at the beautiful Cleveland Beach. Now this is the younger sister to the more popular and bigger Queensland Beach just down the road. But that doesn't mean that this provincial park should be overlooked. If you're planning to visit Nova Scotia, you've probably already realized something. You're never far from the water. Whether you're searching for something lakeside or here on the banks of the Atlantic Ocean, there will always be a deep blue destination for you. On this early September day, we decided to head to the South Shore and explore some of the area's wonderful beaches. Nova Scotia Provincial Parks range significantly in their structure. Some are small, picnic-only locations, while others are large and filled with hiking trails. As you'll see here, we have provincial parks that are just beaches, and I'm okay with that. Like I mentioned, Cleveland Beach is often overlooked for the bigger and perhaps better Queensland Beach just down the road. After walking the shores, I wasn't quite sure why this beach was overlooked so much. There may be limited parking, but the beach itself is quite nice. The water looked purple and deep. From some online reviews, we pieced together that there were many rocks just off the beach. So perhaps that's the reason people tend to drive a little bit further. As someone who forgoes swimming and goes simply to soak up the sun, that was of no concern to me. The waves had a slow roll here. The beach extended far, and a few lucky homes in the area had a perfect view of this and other Atlantic marbles. The sand here was soft. This would be the perfect place if you were looking to escape the crowds. But what if you were looking for something a little more popular? You'll want to head to Queensland Beach, the subject of our next video.